Hello, Roswell. I'm Joe Neb, the Roswell City Manager, and welcome to a new segment of the city's communication outreach entitled The Counselor's Corner. Today, we are speaking with Ward 5 Representative Barry Foster. Barry was recently elected to serve the city back in March 2020 for a four year term, and his term will end in 2024. Welcome, Barry. Thank you. Uh, now, Counselor Foster, Everyone can find your bio biography on the city's website and learn a little bit more about you and what you stand for. Um, and I know that uh, this last election was a re-election. You've served for a while now. Um, but for the benefit of our viewers, we prepared a series of questions to explore who you are in greater detail. Are you ready? I guess. Okay. <laughs> Can we start off with, uh, can you just tell everybody a little bit more about yourself? Well, um, like you said, my bio is on the website, but I, I moved to, to Clovis, New Mexico when I was two and, and grew up in Clovis and, and called New Mexico my home for since I was two, so over 50 some odd years now. And um, then I went to school at Eastern, met my wife who was from Roswell. We moved down here. and. Uh, she was. Uh, she started teaching. I worked for Laprino Foods for a while, and then um, decided I would stop and finish my teaching degree. And so I went back to school, finished my teaching degree, and for the last 16 years I've been teaching. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> um, what are you the most passionate about? Well, basically, um, goes back to my what I do for a living: kids. Um, the, the kids of Roswell are my kids, and um, I know we kind of have a split town between Goddard and Roswell, but um, all our kids are Roswell kids, and, and so um, I think whatever we can do to help our kids become great citizens and, and then ultimately wish we uh, provided an environment for them to stay here and, and continue to, to um, ring up their kids here in, in Roswell. But, um, but kids of Roswell are my, uh, where my heart's Okay, at. wonderful. Um, what job would you be absolutely terrible at? <laughs> I've had thousands of jobs, <laughs> and that's what I was, I was at, asked my wife that one, and she just laughed because she wasn't going to say a word. Um, cake, cake decorating. I, I, you know, when it comes to fine little things and fixing, I just, if, okay. it, if it's, if it has to do with a lot of tedious little things, I, I don't have the patience for that kind so, of stuff. So we won't see you applying for the Great American Bake Off? No, no, so, no. Okay. Now I can bake, <laughs> but when I have to decorate, no, thank you. Okay. Um, if you could change one thing about Roswell and funding was no object, what would it be? Um, this is, and it goes back to where my heart's at. I really think that fundamentally, if our young parents did not have to worry about daycare for Roswell to work with the county, work with the state, and provide you know, birth to, to kindergarten um, daycare for, for every kid, child in, in Roswell. It's a labor of love. Yep. yep. Uh, so what's more important for our city right now, building new homes and commercial space or rehabbing, expanding, better utilizing our existing homes and storefronts? Well. As much as we can, can we need to infill our our infrastructure. I think that's one of the things that most people don't understand about Roswell is our infrastructure is built for a seventy, eighty thousand um, person city, and we have fifty thousand people sure. paying for it. And so, um, as much as we can to infill, rehab what the empty buildings we have, we have lots of empty buildings and. Um, I think that to fill the spaces is important. Now, there. That said, we as a city council can't. <laughs> we don't spend the funds to build the new malls. We can't tell people, no, you can't build a new strip mall. You can't put new new building in. Um, but but we can do some encouraging to 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 do the infill, and that's you, you kind know, of serve as a catalyst yes. for that. So, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, would you rather eat only pizza or ice cream for the rest of your life? That one's easy. 
Pizza. <laughs> I call it pizza a salad. Yeah, because it, it's, I mean, it, 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 you can have so much on it. So it, pizza works for me a lot. Uh, ice cream, just, uh, I very rarely will eat ice cream because it just drives my sugar up. <laughs> right. uh, so is there anything else you want to tell the citizens of Roswell? Well, I just think that we have a great city here, and I think that... Um, the people should, of Roswell should be proud of um, of the town that we have. We have a we have a symphony. We have museums that big cities would die for. We we have a zoo that's coming along. Although now it's no longer going to be a free zoo, I don't think. But it um, it is a zoo that you can be proud of, and um, and museums that we can be proud of. And we have a park system that's that's great. Um, I so. I, I think that we just really need to sell Roswell, although some people don't want to sell Roswell because they don't want us to get bigger than we are. But we, we do have some great systems in place and a, a great little town that that uh, is hopefully going to be awakened to the, the rest of the world will, will realize what a gym we are. Fantastic. Fantastic. So our guest today is Ward 5 Representative Barry Foster. Barry, thank you for your time and uh, sharing just a little bit more about you uh, with our viewers. It is greatly appreciated. This was a segment of the City of Roswell's The Counselor's Corner. And thank you for watching. I'm Joe Neb, Roswell City Manager, signing off.